Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning how to crack WEP using a tool called Backtrack and Backtrack is a bootable Linux distribution that is completely free and I will provide a torrent link in the description so hopefully you know how to burn a disk and boot in the Backtrack so I'm going to assume that. The first thing you want to do is to open up a console window which is the small black box and I'm going to go ahead and make the text a little bit bigger so you guys can read it. You still probably can't read it, but I'll zoom in a little bit with the camera. Alright, so the first thing you want to type is to find out whether or not Backtrack can find your device. So, we'll go I-W-C-O-N FIG and this will list your wireless devices mine is RA0 as you can see it's all supported right here and now the second thing we want to do is to hide our, hide our identity and we do this by changing our MAC address this would be equivalent to using a proxy to hide your IP address so we'll go MAC C H A N G E R dash R, then your device name. And the dash R assigns a random value for your MAC address. So mine has changed now. So next thing we want to do is to enable monitoring mode. And monitoring mode basically turns on your device so it can scan for networks. So we'll go. A I R M O N dash N G start then your device name. <coughs> and now monitoring mode has been enabled and I can get started with finding some networks. So we'll go clear. Alright, so now we uh, find some networks. So we'll go A I R O D U M P dash ng and then your device name and this looks like your average um, Wi-Fi stumbler so it shouldn't be too confusing here's all the information right here and what you're looking for is a network with WEP obviously this would be a good one to crack this would be a good one to crack the ones you don't want to crack are the ones with WPA2 or WPA because those are actually secure unlike WEP. So we're just going to go ahead and choose a network. We'll go with this one right here, 9NXFF. I can just copy the line. That'd be nice. So, what you want to take note of is the channel and the BSSID of the network you want to crack. So, what you want to do now is to go down to your K menu. We'll go K, Backtrack, Radio Network Analysis, 802.11, All, and then we'll go up to SpoonWeb. And SpoonWeb is a little Java tool that will crack networks that will send the packets and crack the crack the information that comes back so wait for it to load here and here it is it's a fairly simple little tool that's pretty powerful so let's see. All right, right here is the victim MAC, and we'll put in the MAC address of the network we want to crack, which would be 0024D21103D4. Clientless attack, you leave that blank. Net card, we're going to choose our card, RA0. Channel, make sure the channel is right. This is the default is 6, change it to channel 1. 
Injection rate, do you feel the need for speed? We'll go to a thousand. Here's your attack methods. ARP replay attack, P0841, chop chop and forge, and fragmentation and forge. I think these are put in order of effectiveness with ARP replay being the most effective. Your key length, you're going to want to leave it at unknown. That way you get a very fast crack. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I launched a window down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here in the Java window it says Gathering ARP. And that'll change to Cracking WEP whenever it gets enough IVs. So, right here is a window, and if you see that number going up right there, that is your number of IVs. Right now it's at 1500, so, and the goal is 20,000, so this should be done in a few minutes. Just go ahead and zoom in on right here. It says replaying ARP, that's what's getting all the IVs. And we're going to wait for it to say cracking web. Alright, so we're at about 10,000 and we're halfway done. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer with the camera. Alright, so we're at about 20,000 now. Hopefully we can get to some cracking. Alright, we're at 20,000 and it's starting to crack. And there it is, your web key in red text with colons in between the characters. So that took about five minutes. I have eight minutes on my camera. But if you have enough speed, you can do this in about five minutes. So that is how you crack web with backtrack.